Hasman's Crochet Creations and for, today, for today's video I thought of doing something a little different. So I thought of doing a vlog of me working on Tony's Make a Cow 2024 project. So some of you may know, um, Tony, she's a content creator and a crocheter here on YouTube and um, she does this thing every year where um, every like Every, every year at the beginning of the year for a whole month um, uh, you can participate in Make a Make a, in Make a Cow 2024 and basically what you do is you take any TL Yarn Crafts pattern and then you make it and you share your creations on Instagram and you tag um, TL Yarn Crafts in the actual post um, so that's the thing that she does every year so this year i want to participate and i want to make tony's jesse stash basket or basket <laughs> um it feels so weird saying jesse stash basket um it just sounds so much better when i say jesse stash basket but like i'm not american so it sounds weird to say it but <laughs> Anyway, so today I will be making Jessie's, um, Tony's, J Ch Tony's Jessie stash basket. Um, so yeah, we're going to do this vlog together, shall we? So the, but the first thing that I need to do is I need to print out the pattern. So let's go. Okay guys, so I'm back and um, I've printed out the pattern um, so you can get the pattern off of her website to your yarn crafts. Um, so yeah, I paid five dollars for this and I actually don't know what that is converted. Normally it's like 80 rand or something like that. It's not it's not bad. Well 80 to 100 and something rand. Um, so yeah, I got the pattern. So now I am ready to start making the starlight basket. Okay, so yeah, so I know earlier I said that I was making a Jessie stash basket. Um, I was actually getting the names confused because she actually has like two baskets on her website that look very similar. The one that I was going to make is the round one. Um, and the other one that I actually mentioned before was like the square rectangular one. Uh, so yeah, I'll be making the starlight basket actually, not the Jessie stash basket. Okay. So as for the yarn, um, I'm not quite sure what colour to go for. Um, so I was originally going to go for this big boy. Um, so I've had this in my stash for about a couple of years. No, not a couple of years. Almost on that. For about a year I've had this in my stash. It is a pretty big boy. It's a 400 gram ball of yarn. And it's 300 metres and 90% acrylic and 10% polyamide. Polymide. Um, recommends a 15 millimeter crochet hook so it's super chunky um, so it's from Keysmet um, so I was thinking of using this because it's also very similar to the color that she had on the website and also I have like a whole big ball of this but then I was like um, I have some other chunky yarn that I'd like to make or use and I thought of this so this is from so it came in a bag like this not in a bag but it was like a big skein like this so this is a also a 300 gram ball no this was 300 grams so the other one was 400 okay so this is a 300 gram ball so it came in like this but I've used this to make my mega chunky hat before um so I'm thinking of using this light pink to kind of go with my theme of my business. Um, but I'm not sure if I should. 
I weighed this and this was like a hundred, how much does this recommend? Um, oh, this was 120 grams, just under 120 grams. Whereas in the pattern, they suggest, or Tony suggests, um, um, 170 gram ball. And oh, you'll actually need two balls of that. I actually just realized. Um, two, two balls of 170 gram. Is that what she means? I think she means it's 100 gram all together and there's two balls each. Because she has 100 gram ball and there's two balls. So maybe that means. It was 170 grams each. I don't know. Now that just threw a thing in the works now. Um, so I was thinking of this, but as I said, I don't know if this is going to be enough. Because um, like I weighed it and it was like 120 grams, which is slightly under. Um, and I need like 170 grams according to the pattern. But I don't know if that means now 170 grams times two balls, which is like. 210 grams or I just use this this is the apricot color um, so yeah I don't know if I should use this I said it's a 300 gram ball and um, yeah I don't know or if I should just go with this one I kind of don't know what to do <laughs> I don't need to make up my mind, you know, so I can make this thing. Okay, um... Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna go with the big, the big ball. Because, honestly, it's the, it's the most that I have, and I don't really want to play yarn chicken at this stage. <laughs> Well, we don't want to lose at yarn chicken. Let's put it that way. I don't really feel like losing to yarn chicken. So I think I'm just gonna go with this big, with this big boy, and I'm just gonna make this. And on the pattern, it also recommends a nine millimeter crochet hook, but I only have a ten and an eight. So should it go up to a size ten, or should it go down to a size eight? What do you think I should do? Maybe I should go with a size ten. I think I'm going to go size 10. Okay, whatever. Let's get this thing started, shall we?
Hey guys, so I am back after completing the size of the basket and oh my gosh, doesn't that just look so pretty? Like look at those stitches. Doesn't it just look so beautiful? Like look at that. Okay, so I finished making up the side of the basket. So now, based on the instructions, um, I now need to start adding the handles or start um, adding space for the handles. So. I have now made the like little handles the like, little sections for the handles isn't that just cute it's like it's coming together and it like looks so adorable actually I'm not gonna lie this thing's actually really really cute okay so now moving on to the last round okay this mask only has 17 rounds
Hey guys, so now I am actually finished with the basket. Um, so isn't this just so adorable? Look at how cute that is. Look at his little handles. I love how cute this is actually. Okay, so now I need to end off. And I kind of forgot the rest of my supplies on my table, so that's fine. I'm gonna go and grab them quickly. Okay, so I just need to cut my my yarn and weave in my tail ends. using my crochet hook, my small little crochet hook here. Hey guys, so now I am officially finished the basket. Isn't it just so cute? Like, look at it. I love how cute this is. Um, so yeah, you guys can find the written, uh, the written pattern, um, or the downloadable pattern on her website, TLYC, tlyarncrafts.com. Um, so yeah, isn't it just cute? I love this thing. So I think I, I actually already have an idea on kind of like what to um what to store in this. Um so because of my website that I'm that I'm working on at the moment, that I'm trying to add all my products and things to my website so that people can start purchasing off of my website. I'm so excited about this guys. So anyway, um so yeah, I'm gonna have a uh, have it available so that people can purchase keychains and things like that off of my website or they can purchase patterns off of my website um so with me doing all of that as well as my youtube channel i have been needing to make like quite a few um like duplicate keychains and stuff because i have to take pictures of the keychains in order to publish the pattern if it makes any sense um, I'm going to take pictures of my process of like, you know, like working, uh, working up the keychain. Um, so I'm thinking that with all of the keychains that I make, I can just pop them into this basket and store them so that eventually I can give them away as gifts, you know, to like family and friends. And, um, yeah, I think that will actually be like quite a, quite a cute, cute idea if I do say so myself. So yeah, what do you guys think? I think it came out super, super adorable. So yeah, that is it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed um, watching me uh, crochet uh, Tony's um, Starlight Basket. I really hope you enjoyed uh, this vlog. Um, let me know if you guys would like to see more videos like this. Um, so yeah, please don't forget to check out Tony's, uh, Tony's page or her YouTube channel. I will uh, definitely link her YouTube channel um, in the description down below and um, as well as a website. So yeah, um, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. It really does help out my channel or even just to share it. It really, really does help out my channel. And um, yeah, thank you guys for watching and happy crocheting.